If you've been looking for cheap and reliable coins over EAFC24, then please look no further than FIFAcoin.com. As usual, they've got great discounts on their website and you can get an extra 5% when you use my code MARTAIN. Link will be in the description. Hi guys, Martin88 here and welcome back to another EAFC24 video. And today we're having a look at the best players from South America in the game right now. We've done Africa, we've done Asia, we've done North America and now it's South America, which is the most challenging one so far, I'm not going to lie. And you can see by the guy on screen at the moment, the calibre of player that we are looking at. So without further ado, let's get into it and have a look and see who I've got down. So the first one is arguably the greatest player that's ever lived and it is Pele, God rest his soul. And it's the Winter Wild Cards version, which has been out for a good few months now. Now I say this all the time and there's a few players that would fall into this bracket. If Pele had a five-star weak foot, then he would be the best player in the game, in my opinion, because he has everything and he has it in abundance. Pace, shooting, passing, dribbling. His physicals isn't too bad at all. Even his defending stats aren't the end of the world for a very good uh, forward player. Um, and of course, play styles wise, he's got a decent amount. We maybe could have a couple more by now. I get the feeling that there will be like a 99 Pele uh, coming in the next few months or so. So maybe keep your eye on that. But this card well and truly deserves to be on the list. Now, these players don't get any smaller in, in terms of stature. And it is the brand new Future Stars icon, Ronald Dinho. Now, I was studying him today for one of my coaching clients. Um, and of course, if you are interested in coaching, guys, uh, the email address is on screen. If you're somebody that's just brought the game and you're a real novice, don't worry about that. Or if you're somebody that's quite experienced but you want to push on, feel free to get in touch, okay? Email address is on screen. We'll have a little chat, get you some information over. Anyway... I looked at this Ronaldinho, I put an engine on him, assuming that you might play him at like Cam or maybe out on the wing, um, which put his pace absolutely maxed, dribbling completely maxed, passing completely maxed. When I'm not saying completely maxed, I'm talking 99s. His physical stats are pretty decent as well. Five, it's a bit like Pele, where he's got the five star skill moves and the four star weak foot. And then over to the play styles, um, he's got the trickster as a, a play style plus which means that they're a lot more agile when they're dribbling. There's more like unique skill moves and flicks and stuff like that. But he has also got technical as a play style, so his R1's gonna be great, but he's got the quick step as well. So if you think that he's gonna be extremely fast, plus Trickster as a play style, that means he's gonna be, if he's running at pace, he's just gonna be so, so good. But I mean, look, that's why it's 14, 15 million coins. Let's not get stuck on him because there's many, many more. Next one, it's Alisson. Let's just tone it down a little bit. <laughs> Team of the year, uh, Alisson, obviously a goalkeeper, but for me, he's the best goalkeeper um, in the game. End of. R9. I said that it wouldn't get any easier. This is the Team of the year icon, R9. I've said this uh, previously, but there are some cards, particularly like the big icons, you need to know how to use them to really maximize them because these cards like R9, Pele, Ronaldinho, they push the boundaries of the game. So you have to you have to experiment and learn how to use them. But Ronaldinho is arguably the most clinical um, striker in the game, end of. Next one is Neymar. You can see there's a real Brazilian team going on here, obviously. Uh, there will be even better Neymar cards coming out sure as the year goes on. It's just his dribbling. Five star, five star as well. And Neymar's dribbling is always great. And you can have, see there down with like the ball control. He's, he's got the first touch, the flair, the technical. Trickster as a play style plus. Just a uh, top, top notch player. Right, next one is Zico. I've got a few of my coaching clients that use him. He's very, very good. Five star, five star. Put a shadow on him. One of the best box-to-box -box midfielders in the game because he can then literally do absolutely everything for you. Uh, technical as a playstyle plus, so that R1 is fabulous. But yeah, real good, good player. Well, not good, that's amazing player. <laughs> yeah, um, Vin Vinicius Junior to continue the Brazilian theme. Trust me, they're not all Brazilians. We move, we'll move on to the other countries. 
Um, you all know about Vinicius. He, he's not as good as the other players that we've just looked at. But that's no slight because they're arguably some of the best players in the game, you know. Um, and Vinicius Junior is absolutely electric and will cause lots and lots of problems. And it's the pace, really, that's a problem. So rapid, quick step as a play style plus. Uh, he does have the skill moves as well. So if you're a skiller, it's going to be lightning quick for you and a uh, bundle of tricks. Next one is Cathu, who for me is one of the best right backs in the game. Now, disclaimer. I haven't got Roberto Carlos in this list, but it's just because I feel that there are they're more decent left backs than there are right backs. So I actually feel there's a bit of a shortage. So I've got Cafu in here, uh, but I still think that there is there is scope to have some better fullbacks. But Cafu would definitely uh, be up there in terms of the right back position. Okay, Whew. it's Brazil done. Let's have a look at some of the other players now. So I've got Darwin Nunes from Uruguay. Okay, now. This is a UEL road to the final. Now, Liverpool are in the Europa League and they're favourites to win it. Doesn't mean that they will, but they're favourites. So this guy could end up with a plus three with five-star, weak foot, five-star skill move. So it'd be six foot two, five five, and imagine putting a plus three on all of those stats. He's going to be incredible, particularly like those physical stats, the finishing, composure would be nice. Um, Really, really good card. I like Nunes in real life as well. Oh, yeah, this guy. Almost forgot about him. Joking. Um, team of the year, Messi, uh, which I'm sure a reasonable amount of you have him in your team, if you know what I'm talking about. Um, look, this is just a carbon copy of many years gone by. I have used this card in previous game cycle. It's just great. It's not too much more to say, really. <laughs> okay, Luis Diaz. Luis Diaz. Um, from Colombia. Again, Liverpool. So we've got Nunes and Diaz from Liverpool. I like this card. Um, a lot, lots of pace, lots of trickery. Um, better, there's better, obviously better cards in this video, but I do, um, I do like him. Um, and yeah, real solid, solid card. So, last but by no means least. We've got Valverde, team of the year, honorable mentions Valverde. Now there is a radioactive Valverde that's uh, nicely rated, but this one has more play styles. And particularly he's got the rapid as a play style plus because Valverde is solid as a rock, as a box to box midfielder. I just, he can be a little bit clunky with that agility and balance, but having that rapid as a play style plus helps an awful, awful lot. So guys, there we have it. They're my best players in South America in the game right now. Hope that you've enjoyed that video. If you have, please drop a like. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys very, very soon. See you later, guys. Bye-bye.